So before I get into this last recipe, I want to talk about... Okay, so I want... So today in this video, we're going to talk about the guinea pig meal planning. So the first one I'm going to um, talk about is called green power mix. It's great for, for most guinea pigs, but it's also good for baby guinea pigs. Last recipe, this is something that um, most relates to my case. Um, so Peanut, about a year ago, or maybe a little bit more than a year ago, she started having a little bit of blood in her urine. Thankfully, it wasn't a big problem. It was a mild case of urinary tract infection, also known as UTI. Um, so before I actually talk about the recipe, I want to kind of get into the topic of this UTI and stones. Do you want eye drops? Yes. <laughs> wow, you guys pooped a lot. Let me just clean this really quick. Yeah. So I want... One second, let me just give her one. So before I get into this last recipe, I want to talk about the stones, the kidney stones that guinea pigs can have. So based on the research that I read, there are a couple types of bladder stones. And within those bladder stones, there are small parts of it that are available for guinea pigs, specifically two of them. The two different types of stones that's existing for guinea pigs is called the, the chemical com component of the bladder stone is calcium oxalate. That's first, calcium oxalate. The second is calcium carbonate. These two are formed completely differently, but for guinea pigs specifically, based on the experiments, they have found that overwhelmingly prevalent one was the calcium carbonate, not calcium oxalate. So what does that mean? So you have to think about how do these stones form. By knowing how these form, you can kind of help them prevent future occurrences of stone or maybe you can uh, stop the prog pro progress once you have mild cases of UTI, just like how I found for peanut and treated um, effectively. The most prevalent type of stone, calcium carbonate stone, that is progression from the urinary infection to a stone. And that infection happens with the bacteria. The bacteria would increase the level of certain chemicals like ammonium, carbonate, also the pH level of the urinary system. And in turn, that decreases the solubility of the phosphate. When the solubility of the phosphate decreases, the leftover phosphate, they combine with ammonium, magnesium, and carbonate and that becomes a stone. So the diet plan that I'm going to tell you might uh, decrease the chance of occurrence of the urinary stone and bacterial infection also has to be minimized in order for this to not happen. So how do you do that? You have to keep your cage clean. It's as simple as that. You have to spot clean very often. If you're cleaning once or once a day, then maybe clean twice a day. And also, don't leave the dirty like liner for a certain period of time. If you think it's getting too wet, then you have to wash it before that happens. Do this as often as possible to minimize the chance of stone and even the milder case, which is urinary tract tract urinary tract infections to happen. So going back to the first reason. The diet, right? So the recipe is called urinary health mix. It's going to contain a quarter of a cucumber piece, one outer leaf of red leaf lettuce, and quarter slice of yellow bell pepper. This recipe has 
under one to one ratio of calcium phosphorus ratio, which means compared to phosphorus level, it has lower than recommended amount of calcium. Like I said before, you need something somewhere between one to two portion of calcium for every phosphate. But this uh, veggie mix will have less than one portion of calcium for one portion of phosphorus. The reason we're doing this is because the vets would usually recommend to uh, decrease the amount of calcium intake when urinary tract infection happens or um, the guinea pig has previous experience with the stone or if you just want to prevent the stones from happening. So that's what we're doing we're lowering the calcium level, calcium intake. Another reason that we included the certain vegetable is cucumber, it includes high level of water. One of the best things that you can do to a guinea pig with these sorts of condition, or in general, is to make sure they have enough water intake. You know, sometimes guinea pigs, they are dehydrated and they might just not enjoy drinking water as much as some others. So providing them, them cucumber, a vegetable with high water content, make sure that they have enough water intake. And yellow bell pepper also has higher level of vitamin C than some others. And that can also minimize the chance of urinary tract infection and also the urinary dust. So here are a couple suggestions that I, I would recommend you guys to try when you're giving vegetables. If you have a new, another idea, then you think it's fun and helpful for guinea pigs, maybe you can leave it in the comment below. When you're giving these vegetables, there are a couple ways to provide them. Obviously for our benefit, which is to be able to bond with our guinea pigs and you know have a little bit of fun with guinea pigs. And second, so that they feel more comfortable. The most obvious way is maybe just have a plate or a bowl and then put some veggies in there and give it to them and then watch them eat. You know, that's also very relaxing and good. What I usually do is when I, whenever I give veggie, I almost always stay close to them when they're eating. Sometimes I do also like hand feeding, especially if you're new to guinea pig, then it's, very helpful to hand feed because they start relating your hand with giving them something delicious. And some other ways to have fun is do something like uh, what we do in our ASMR video. If you have a bamboo skewer, just you know put a bunch of it in and then you can give it to them and they'll have like a lot of fun with it trying to get the veggies off the skewer. Another way to do this is to hide the veggies in different parts of cage or during floor time just put it planted somewhere like more secretive because this helps them think, this helps stimulate their minds so that they're never bored and they're having fun which means they're going to be healthy and happy. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching through this longer than usual video. Bye.